so we are given the question here uh, the first question it says or rather the statement that we are given is that an experiment was conducted to, de to determine the boiling points of uh, the isomer you know C5H12 this is a pentane right and then the following data was obtained in other words these are the isomer of a pentane and then these are the boiling points so the first question says uh, for this investigation write down the dependent variable right so the dependent variable is the boiling points boiling points is the dependent variable because the boiling points depend on uh, the, the 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 branching of the isom you know it depend on this one so it also said in other words i can now say the dependent variable is the boiling point it depend in other words if the chain the branch increase now you can see pentane f is a straight chain but now if we tend to increase the branching now then automatically it will affect the boiling point it will will go down and when the boiling point go down the pressure goes up in other words the the pressure here yeah, or the vapor pressure at the highest boiling points is low you know vice versa and then the independent variable uh will be the length of the chain you know or the branching now the branching will be the independent variable you can see that we have the branch we have two branch here we have one branch on two missile butane here we have two branch and so on like that so the length of the carbon chain or the so-called branching is a uh, our independent variable you know so let me just write it like this you know yeah so the length of the uh, carbon chain or the branching that's uh, the independent variable so now it says 3.2 says define the boiling points uh the, the the boiling point this is just a definition whereby when you talk about the boiling points we are referring uh, to the temperature you know the temperature at which the vapor pressure uh, of a liquid is equals to the atmospheric pressure that's uh, the the boiling point you know so you can also read it on the textbook and then familiarize yourself with it and then 3.3 it says explain fully the trend in boiling points as depicted in the table above the trend you can see that uh, when the chain increase you can see here we don't have chain it's, it's just a straight chain right here it's a chain which is branched right and then here it's a chain with two branches here 2.2 right on this one so you can see that the branching are increasing when you go down and when you increase the branch you can see what is happening to the boiling point so that's the trend so in other words the boiling points decrease from what from pentane going to 2,2 dimethyl propane right so the boiling points de decrease right in other words from pentane to this 2,2 dimethyl uh, uh, propane the length of the carbon chain decreases the length of the carbon chain because you can see that we have length it has five carbon right because it's what it has five carbon right let me indicate it in this like this let's say this is carbon this is carbon this is carbon this is carbon and this is carbon we have five carbon right let me erase all this other stuff so that you can see well yeah so it's like this let me indicate the first one there are five and then let me join them this is the chain with one two three four five
carbon, right? But when you go down to this one, you will find that we have one, two, three, four. We have four. Let's say and what and one like this. You will find that we have something of this nature, right? It's a four carbon and one carbon here for missile. And then going to this one again, you will realize that we have what three and maybe one there and one down. So it's more like this, right? Yeah, it's more like this. So in other words, uh, the, the the carbon chain also uh, uh, tend to do it to to decrease or the surface area decrease or the number of branching increase, you know. So in simple way, you can say the length of the carbon chain decreases. You know that is the surface of the surface area decreases and the number of branching increases so when the surface area was decreasing the number of branches was what was increasing because you can see the number of branching here we don't have branch here but now it's increased branch we have one branching now we have two branching in other words the number of branching was increasing and the amount of london forces decrease resulting in the weak intermolecular forces that require less uh, energy to overcome in other words lesser energy will be needed to overcome this so that's the explanation you can make as far as 3.3 is concerned and then 3.4 it says which compound pentane or two methyl butane has a lower vapor pressure i said vapor pressure the relationship between boiling points and vapor pressure is that when boiling point goes up vapor pressure goes down that's the relationship we have right so in other words which one between pentane and two missile has a lower vapor this means the one with a lower vapor is the one with the higher boiling point right because when vapor pressure is low boiling point should be higher so which one is it you realize that it's pentane because it's a, it has what 30 cgs and two missile uh, butane as what well, is 25 so which one is higher between 25 and 36 is 36 so in other words pentane is the correct answer for this one all right pentane is the correct answer and the explanation will be that uh, uh pentane has a higher boiling point you know and as a vapor pressure increases the boiling point do what it decreases you know so 3.5 it says a learner observe in another experience experiment that although both propane one all propane one all and ethanoic acid has the same molecular formula their boiling points differ that's what a certain student uh, experience you know we have alcohol and also ethanoic acid all right so which compound propane one all or ethanoic acid will have a higher boiling point so the one which will have the higher boiling points is this ethanoic acid you know why who is it ethanoic acid yeah this one it's ethanoic acid that's the one which will have the higher uh, uh boiling point Be because in most cases between alcohol and carboxylic acid uh carboxylic acid tend to have a higher uh, boiling points you know because uh, if you check for 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 isanoic acid the the isanoic acid is a london forces and two hydrogen bonds you know between the adjacent uh, uh, molecule and the stronger intermolecular forces between the isanoic uh, acid molecule so in other words in terms of the alcohol you know this one uh this propane one all it has one hydrogen bond between the adjacent molecule it has one hydrogen bond because it's what it's oh it's an alcohol right it will have one hydrogen bond but the ethanoic acid now the ethanoic acid now will have two hydrogen bond between the adjacent molecule and then we will have OE right 
double bond o so it will have two hydrogen bond right so that's why that's the explanation it will give you when they say refer to the type of strength and the intermolecular forces to account for the different in boiling point ethanoic acid has two hydrogen bond between the adjacent molecule but alcohol or propan one all has one hydrogen bond you know it is one hydrogen bond between the adjacent molecule and that's it